Hello people, welcome back to the episode of Relating Me and You, You and Me through YouTube and here I am with another video which is this traditional Maharashtrian look and I have tried keeping it very uh, nude so that anybody and everybody can ca carry it on with any dress or any color that you want to wear. So that's what this video is going to be about, Ganesh Chaturthi traditional look. Let's just directly get into the video. Let's begin. And I'm going to start with this Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. The details of all the products that I'm using here are going to be in the description box. The shade name and everything is going to be down there just in case you're interested. And now I am massaging this Elixir on my face because it gives a very nice glow. Since we are going for the most glamorous look out there, it's important that you have your skincare on place. So I am going to nicely massage this into my skin so that blood can rush through my face and I can have that beautiful glow on my skin. And I'm especially concentrating it on the driest regions of my face. That's my under eyes and the circumference. And as I'm massaging, I'm massaging it upwards because we want to work against the gravity for anti-aging benefits. So yeah, let's just massage. And now moving to the next step. I am going to start with a primer and for that I am using this pack pore minimizing cream. It's a very nice smoothing and blurring primer. I take a little bit of it and it goes a long long way. So I am nicely pushing it into my skin again so that it fills in my pores and gives my skin a blurring effect along with mattifying it. So you know all good things in this primer. And then as all of that is settling on place, I'm going to start with the brows and for that I'm using a Tude House uh, drawing pencil. Again, shade name and everything is going to be down in the description box. It's perfect pencil because you can never go overboard with this one until and unless you want to. It's very nice. It comes with a spoolie. So it's an all in one. And now starting with the concealer, I'm going to use this Magic Star Concealer in the shade C6 and I'm going to start with my eyes. So I am priming it with this concealer, very good as a primer, very very good. I really like how the colors pop on top of this. And I am using this Nikake eyeshadow palette in the shade Ohani. And it comes with some very beautiful yellow and brown shades. Starting with the fluffy blending brush, I am going to pick up that brown shade and put it on my crease. I am not going too high, not going very close to my eyebrows, you will know why. I am taking that fluffy brush and just blending around the crease very very close to my crease so just blend it around and blend it around now taking this tapered fluffy brush i'm going to pick up that yellow shade and going over the edge of the brown this yellow shade is going to act as a perfect transition from that brown to your skin since i have yellow undertones uh, this yellow shade works very well in looking more skin like so if the blend that I am doing here looks absolutely flawless and I hold the brush from really far to do this blending that way it looks more natural and perfectly blended. Taking that brown shade again I am depositing it on the outer V of my eye and just depositing it until and unless I am satisfied with the amount of pigmentation. Now going to that copperish glittery shade and I am going to apply it on the eyelid just one third center of the eyelid. I'm going to apply it, deposit it with my finger and here how it shows up. Again, you can continue this until and unless you're satisfied with the pigmentation. And next I'm going to take this Plum Nature Studio Kajal. This Kajal is a, acts like a gel eyeliner. So I'm drawing a very, very thin line, very close to my lash line. So just one line, don't think of it as an eyeliner or something, just draw one line very close to your lash line and meet it to your inner corner. Now you can use any gel liner also here or any other pencil that you have, Kajal pencil with smudges because here we are going to smudge it out. And same pencil I am also applying on the outer V of my eye so that when I blend it, it's going to show more pigmentation and create a depth in my eye which would make it look a little bigger. My eyes are going to have an illusion of looking a little bigger. And I really like with that Indian look. So I'm going to smudge it with this smudging brush. And for smudging it, I'm holding it little closer. That's because it gives me more control. And then taking this 
goldeny brown shade i am applying it on the center of my eyelid to give it more pop now you can totally skip this if you want to keep it very neutral but i wanted that little pop in the center and hence i did that and now taking that dull golden shade it's not that popping gold i am highlighting my brow bone pushing it a little bit up and then toning it down a little bit with my finger so this way it gives a perfect perfect blend and doing the same on my inner corner as well and now with this dramatic lashes we are going to complete our eye look now coming to the face having a glow routine is very important hence i'm using this sugar jelly highlighter it's glow and behold again you'll see everything in the description box in case you are interested so i'm applying it on the high points of my region where i would otherwise apply an highlighter and then setting my face with makeup forever this is an amazing spray to give you a dewy look it gives a very dewy finish to your makeup and hence i'm applying it all over my face to prep it up and using maybelline super stay foundation this is a perfect foundation which has absolutely beautiful coverage and since i have prepped it for uh, looking dewy this matte foundation is going to give me a perfect balance between neither too dewy nor too matte because otherwise this foundation looks really matte but this way by prepping it with a dewy spray and applying a little bit of you know cream highlighter beneath it gives a very beautiful dewy look we'll see it's a matte foundation with beautiful coverage but it it your skin will not look dead it will have some life and coming back to the concealer taking it a little bit on the back of my hand i'm going to go on the high points of my face again because i like my under eyes and center of my face really highlighted i like it that way so i'm going to just apply it and this concealer little goes a long long way because it blends so easily and has amazing coverage and now setting everything up with this fit me loose powder in the shade 15 light and just taking very little like almost dusting everything back into the pan i am taking a little bit and putting it under my eyes where i crease generally and around my t zone because it's very oily for me so i push this powder into my t zone so that my makeup stays really long and then coming to the blush we cannot do without milani big blushes because we love them so i'm starting from the temples of my uh, temples and coming in towards cheeks yeah so coming to the bronzer we are picking up the sugar bronzer and just bronzing our face up again adding a little shape to my face which is otherwise just a round ball so just bronzing up and then i am spraying the setting spray on the beauty sponge and go all over my face so everything melts into everything and if there is any excess that is just carried away with this beauty blender and proceeding to our lower lash line taking that brown shade again the shimmery brown shade i'm going to put it on the inner one third region to give our eyes a little pop and then a matte brown shade to smoke everything out so i'm taking this all with my smudger brush and smoking my eyes out and then with my nature studio kajal again i am going to really cool out my eyes like really cool them out applying it on my waterline on my lash line and everywhere and to the lipstick i am using this beautiful pencil by maybelline in the shade brick rose this is a very very beautiful color and it is a perfect nude for my lip color and topping it up with huda beauty venus liquid lipstick really nice and then again glossing it up with fenty gloss bomb shades everything in the description box in case you are interested and this gives such nice plump to my lips very beautiful and of course a maharashtrian look can never be complete without a half moon bindi so i did that i also wanted to have nut but i just couldn't find it so i just did with this maharashtrian jewelry that i had from a while ago so yeah decking myself up with that jewelry and some gajra to complete everything and put it all together like a maharashtrian 
what do you think oh my god i am obsessing you know i i hope you can hear that happiness in my voice because i loved how this look turned out that sari that jewelry gajra makeup everything looks very very beautiful and uh, let me know what do you think about this video if you like it give it a big fat thumbs up and if there is anything else that you want me to make videos on please 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 drop it in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to do it and let me know what is the favorite part of this look that you like and kindly subscribe see i'm even joining my hands subscribe tada take care